The Baltic Sea, surrounded by more than 85 million people in its catchment area, is in many ways unique. With shallow waters and low salinity, it is the home of a very specific biota. The Baltic Sea faces strong pressure from intensive fisheries, agriculture and industry in the surrounding societies, as well as shipping throughout the year. Some parts of the sea are covered by ice in the winter, while warm summers can create nasty algae blooms. For most of us, this fragile environment cannot be valued in money alone, but the Baltic Sea can also be viewed as an asset worth billions, with the potential for an increasing maritime economy, blue growth, which alone is estimated at tens of billions of euros. Bonus, the Joint Baltic Sea Research and Development Programme, with 28 projects currently running, and more soon to be funded, was established by the eight Baltic Sea EU member states and the EU. It was set up to produce knowledge and tools so that decision makers could design policies leading to a more sustainable development. Internationally, BONUS is the only marine programming and funding initiative broadly collaborating with maritime research and innovation. By this, it evolves into a, a program not only delivering cutting-edge science underpinning EU and national policy, but also an increasingly important contribution to blue growth. The most sustainable solutions for the Baltic can only be created using a coordinated regional approach. Bonus work is highly appreciated by the participating countries. One country alone is too small and the whole European Union far too big. At every single moment, there are around 2,000 larger ships cruising the Baltic Sea. Some parts of the sea are particularly busy. Bonus has eight research and innovation projects, striving to make shipping safer and clean, with research institutes, universities and companies participating. We have a long practical history, more than 100 years, to navigate in ice. But I think this is the first process where we systematically try to analyze how the ships are behaving. Uh, together with the inventorying of, of, of all emissions, uh, hopefully we can map the impacts and, uh, both on the total environment and on, on uh, specific regions in the Baltic Sea. Completely unrelated ships can share data with each other and assist in the situational awareness of, of everyone in the Baltic Sea region. This is uh, an innovative feature of, of uh, ESA Vault. Up to three million leisure boats are based in the Baltic. Bonus Change closely cooperates with boat owners and suggests that the amount of harmful biocides in anti-fouling paints could be drastically reduced without an increase of fouling on the boats. In Change we are uh, we are marine ecologists, we are chemists, uh, we are uh, marketing people working with sustainable marketing, sustainable consumption and also uh, environmental law. The demand for Baltic sea space for all the different activities already exceeds by several times the available sea area. The only way to overcome this overbooking is systematic cross-border maritime spatial planning. For many years uh, we had been cooperating with the BONUS program and uh, it shows great value for us spatial planners. You need to, to um, bring up uh, potential conflicts and disagreements um, to the front to, to weigh them and understand, you know. The goal of the BONUS Bolt Coast project is to use science to help people on a local level to improve their environment. In Klaipeda, there is a chance to re-establish a previously closed beach. And then we have to take care about social and economic aspects. So where does it make sense to establish a beach? Where should it be done? What does the local population think of it? What do the tourists think of it? Would they accept the beach finally? 
The most serious environmental problem in the Baltic Sea is eutrophication. Scientists and policymakers know what needs to be done. Reduce the nutrient inputs from the land. But how? The complicated part is that eutrophication and you could say pollution essentially is cross-boundary. It's about different countries and different sectors uh, contributing to this environmental problem. Everybody's hoping that everybody else will, you could say, take the responsibility and do something about it. And then essentially nobody's doing something about it. It's super crystal clear. Without the natural science, we can't reach conclusions. But without the social science and the humanities, we can't too, because this is people on local scales, on regional scales who act. And this are nature who reacts on what people do to the nature. People in the Baltic Sea area are very willing to pay for improvements in the sea, which means that society should do something. Uh, we also know a lot of costs and uh, uh, optimal policies. We can be wise or we can be silly, and depending on that, our cost will be high or low. Scientists, not only from the EU member states, but also the Russian Federation, participate in the bonus projects. Of course, it's very useful because we uh, discuss our plans and our, also our uh, results. Many people from different uh, countries around the Baltic Sea. So it's a very good collaboration. Bonus scientists contribute to a vast number of working groups within HELCOM, the Baltic Marine Environment Protection Commission, and other international science and policy networks that provide flagship projects to the EU's strategy for the Baltic Sea region. I think that nowadays scientists are more eager to follow HELCOM work. They are more interested in the policies for the marine environment protection and what is their content and aims. And they are more eager to build projects that are filling in gaps identified in HELCOM. And I think the reason for it is that the key political questions or policy questions have been mainstreamed into the bonus research agenda. After the most positively encouraging interim assessment, BONUS is planning to extend its pioneering experience and model to another EU macro region by forming a Northern European Seas programme. Of course, France will be interested to play a role in this large international cooperation projects on South of North Sea. The European Union is putting a lot of effort into finding ways to unlock the potential of the seas to increase jobs, welfare and the safety of its citizens. Today Bonus is recognised at the highest European level. Uh, I am optimistic and I am very much encouraged by the role of Bonus. So, uh, compared to the situation what was there five years ago, I think uh, it has surpassed the past expectations. Bonus has done a very, very good and very s specific work and I think the result is that uh, so many people now start to realise how important it is first to have a science-based knowledge, a, uh, let's say, the, to have the whole picture before starting to, to make uh, political or economic or social decisions. Say like, where is the money? We have to commit. We need you here. This is important for Europe. So uh, thank you very much.